Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, back inside the LAN room. I think on the last video, guys, uh, we racked the Power Edge R720. Uh, the very first first video, uh, I did an unboxing and kind of a product review of the R uh, the R720. And today, um, I didn't do a video with you guys because it was kind of boring. You know, uh, I kind of installed the the SATA drives within the server, uh, purchased six of them, one terabyte hard drives, and uh, I was waiting for the casing. Uh, there's a special casing that you need to actually install the SATA drives so you can install it into the server. So I we was actually waiting for that. Um, so we finally got it. I installed the six hard drives. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, ready to go. So follow me, we're gonna go into the little corner over there where I have my monitor, my keyboard, and my mouse. We're gonna power up the server, get into our RAID configuration setting, and we're gonna configure the six hard drives as a RAID 5, and maybe, cross the fingers, start uh, installing the operating system. So when I come in on Monday, I can start pushing out all the Windows updates and start configuring it for the software that I need to install. Okay, so this is my perspective. I'm gonna show you guys. I got the workstation right here. I'm gonna put the keyboard on my lap, keyboard, and I got the mouse over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna turn on the machine. And as you can see, it's configuring the memory. How awesome is that? That's always a good thing. And uh, it's just a waiting game right now. It's saying it's configuring memory is done. I need it to get to the point that says do a control R uh, because the control R is what allows us to um, get into the RAID configuration for us to configure our RAID, uh, clean our hard drives up, add them into a RAID, RAID 5, because that's what we're doing. And. Uh, Power Edge R720, awesome. And uh, gotta wait, gotta wait. It's gonna tell me. Uh, it's the broad, Broadcom, I don't need that. There it goes, R, Control R. Control R is what we want, there it goes. So it's basically saying that there's no configuration presence, okay? Uh, we're going to go into our F2 and we need to clear the configuration let's hit uh, select this option will delete all virtual disks are you sure you want to do this yes I don't have any virtual disks so we're gonna clear it out uh, no configurations present so we need to get into portion so it's F2 convert to array capable there it goes uh, please select the non raid disk you would like to convert to a raid capable disk from the list below so that's what I, I want so uh, this one this one I want all of them that's basically what we are planning to do 931 gigs uh, which, which is actually a terabyte. Again, we have six of them. Uh, a RAID 5 would normally give you, up, I think, about a five terabyte hard drive, about five. So we're gonna press OK on that. And as you can see, unconfigured physical disk. We are going to do an F2. F2, and then what we want is, we want to create a new VD. We're gonna hit, uh, hit enter and we want to do is a raid 5 by default it does a raid level 0 but we want a raid 5 alright guys that is what we want a raid 5 uh, your physical disks are all here online I believe if I go in here and I hit space I'm able to select all the hard drives that I want uh, Remember, it's a terabyte hard drives that I have. I have six of them, six terabytes in total. But because you're creating a RAID 5, it's going to actually give you 4655.00, which rounded off about five terabytes. 
Uh, the VD name, this is really up to you what you want to give it. I'm not going to give it any name. Uh, if you guys want to do advanced setting, element size 64 kilobytes, uh, read policy, I basically leave this as is. Uh, I configure a hot spare. I'll probably do that. Let's configure a hot spare. And do I want to initialize? Yeah, we're gonna initialize, and we I want to configure a hot spare because it's always good to have a hot spare. Uh, we're gonna hit enter. Initializing initialization would destroy data on the virtual disk. Are you are you sure you want to continue? Yes. This is a new a new setup. Uh, dedicate hot spare for disk zero. No PDs available. I think because. I don't have wait a minute uh, what did I just do all right so I think because I didn't have available hard drive I couldn't do the hot spare but it's okay I could probably delete the disk so I'm gonna delete it delete the VD there it goes we're gonna do it one more time we're gonna create a new VD I want to do a raid 5 I'm gonna do one I'm gonna do these I'm gonna do 0 through 4 I'm gonna select only 5 for my raid that's gonna give me 3 terabytes and for advance I want to initialize it and I want to configure a hot spare and I want to press OK and then my additional hot spare I want to select that remember I left one hard drive available I didn't select it during my raid configuration so that's gonna be considered my hot spare I want that to be my hot spare uh, we're gonna hit OK and initialization completed on VD0 awesome and we're gonna press enter for OK and uh, that's about it. We have uh, disk group zero, virtual disk one, physical disk five, a dedicated hot spare one, excellent. And um, yeah, let's start the initialization. Are you sure? I think I already did the initialization. Initialization is pretty fast because there's nothing in it. Um, let's check a couple of things. Uh, let me do a F5 to refresh it yeah I think I think we're done I think we are done uh, control N there we go as you can see uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 those are my rate 5 and uh, my last hard drive is my hot spare excellent that's the way I want it uh, let's do a control N uh, enable controller BIOS, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I'm, I'm awesome, cool. I like that. Control N. I'm gonna leave everything as default, and I, I think we're we're done. We're done. Are you sure you want to exit? And okay. And we're gonna do a Control Alt Delete. There's no operating system as of yet within the machine, so I'm actually gonna stop the video and uh, go get the CD, and we're gonna boot into our operating system. All right, guys. So I placed the installation CD within the server so I can start the process. And I completely forgot. I just did a noob, kind of a noob move. And the reason why is because I haven't done a RAID 5 for the longest. And initialization, when you create a RAID 5 or a, a, a RAID 0, it, when it initializes, it takes a long time. So my progress was still on zero, and uh, I was having issues. Though the the Windows installation wasn't able to see the hard drive, and when I went back into the RAID to see if everything was okay behind the scenes, uh, I saw that the progress was still zero, and I was I was freaking out. You know, it's one of those things that you try to do things in a rush, but I figured it out. I'm happy. It's on 13 percent. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys um, waiting. I don't want to show you guys how to do the Windows Server installation because I kind of done that with my previous videos that I did in the past. 
so uh yeah i just have to wait until the hard drives are fully initialized 100 percent and uh the machine views it as a physical hard drive like right now the machine doesn't recognize the ray 5 configuration that we did uh earlier as a physical hard drive so it, it needs to initialize it uh it's 14 percent so i'm pretty excited again i'm gonna what we've done so far was uh we racked the server awesome uh i placed the six one terabyte hard drives in with the cradles uh we got into our uh raid configuration utility which is part of the dell uh how to get into that normally for dell servers you have to do like a control r once we were in uh we had to uh, initialize the hard drives i think uh, we i think we had to initialize the hard drives put them online i believe uh i selected all of them put them online created a vd uh once i created the vd uh i created the raid 5 and I chose five out of the six hard drives because on the sixth one, I wanted to do a hot spare. I, I, and, and you saw in the video that I kind of messed up because I forgot to deselect the, the last one. Uh, once I deselect, I redid it again. I, you know, we deleted the VD, deleted the group, recreated the group, created the VD, initialized it again, did the RAID 5, selected only five, left one by itself. Um, that gave us about four terabytes, I believe. And uh, we did the advance, we did the initialization, and we did with the hot spare. The hot spare gave us a nice little list of that six hard drive, which was an awesome thing. We selected it, and right now it's initializing. Uh, I kind of, I went kind of carried a braid because I put the CD in, I booted it up. It wasn't able to see the hard drive. Uh, that was a new mistake. You know, everyone makes mistakes, right? And uh, when I went back into the configuration, confer uh, when I went back inside the configuration setting, I saw that my progress was still zero. Zero, that's not a good thing. You need you need your hard drives to initialize before you start installing anything. If not, Windows Server 2008 or 2012 or whatever version server that you're installing will not recognize that you have a physical hard drive. So that's about it, guys. I'm gonna actually leave it from here. I'm gonna wait until this actually initializes. This is gonna take a while. I'll probably just go home and come back on monday come back strong on monday install the operating system install all the updates and uh you know hopefully get that stuff working so hopefully you guys enjoy if you guys have any questions leave it right below and uh if not if i don't get back to you as soon as possible go to my google plus page there's a bunch of techie guys out there that uh, know a little bit more what I know and they can help you out as well or go to my my website bjtechnews.org and I, I help you out there as well and uh, catch you guys later peace out